is going on people so today I'm going to bring you guys a highly requested video a lot of you guys want to test for solo players and trust me I got you in advanced warfare for the most part I was a solo player and I can give you a lot of game changing tricks that may help improve your game dramatically you know as some may some of you may or may not know I did get to rank one on advanced warfare on the kill confirm hardcore leaderboards and most of that was from solo gameplay so I do have a lot of tricks for you so enough of the bullshit, let's just uh, jump right into it. So first, go to your uh, menu, go to your audio setting, go to your audio settings, and go to your audio presets. You will have a choice from choosing the Treyarch mix, bass, high bass, super crunch, and headphones. Now a lot of you guys may be using headphones plugged into your controller to hear the audio. It's better to use super crunch. Main reason being is that you will be able to hear footsteps 10 times as loud. And I'm telling you, you're going to win most of your gun battles if you combine that audio preset with the perks, Dead Silence and Awareness. I can't stress to you guys how many gun battles and how many times you can hear people coming from corners if you have these perks and the audio preset uh, set. Now, second tip is a lot of you guys are spending your points in the wrong areas when creating, creating a class. Uh, prioritize your creative class points. Let me ask you guys a question. Who has a better chance of winning a gunfight? A guy that can pull their gun up faster after sprinting or a guy that can pull their gun up slower after sprinting? It's a pretty dumb question, right? So use fast hands. Recommend this. All of my classes have fast hands and I recommend that you guys use these two perks, Dead Silence and Fast Hands, and Awareness if you want to hear footsteps louder. Now, Third tip is to run support kill streaks instead of assault assault kill streaks. Uh, if you are a solo player and you aren't running with a team, it is best just to run support. Do whatever it takes to help win the uh, help your teammates win the game. One reason being to run support is that you get a shit ton of bonus XP from your teammates. Whenever your teammate gets a kill, you get points for that. And second reason is that you get more assist points from the support kill streaks rather than using. Uh, assault kill streaks like the the wraith raps and sentry gun it's best just to run uav counter hater so also a lot of you guys want to know how i know where people spawn all the time and the answer is to control the map and know how to anticipate the spawns so what i do is i open the menu a lot to see the mini map if i know i'm safe in a certain area i'll quickly tap the uh the options menu to quickly access the mini map and check where my teammates are Obviously, uh, this tip only applies to hardcore players, and this only works if a UAV is active. Yeah, you can see the minimap on the top left, but it does not show the entire map. So what I like to do is, let's just say, for example, I'm in a private match right now. Let's just say, for example, I'm in Red Barn, <clears throat> and you know I know I'm safe. Picked up a couple guys here. I know I'm safe here. I know I'm safe here. I have teammates back here, but I don't know where exactly all my teammates are. So what I do is I click uh, push start. And as you can see on the map, well, if I did have teammates, and I saw people at train tracks, I saw um, saw some of my teammates at uh, junkyard. I know for a fact that the enemies will spawn at silos or at uh, White House. Now let's say I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll kill people here. Quickly access it. And this this time I have and uh, I have teammates at at tracks and White House and silos, I know for a fact that they're going to spawn near me. I don't have any teammates near me except for the, my teammates at train tracks. I know they're going to spawn over here and junkyard because that's where the opposite, that's the opposite of where my teammates are. So that's, an, that's just a little example of when I would use the like uh, the start menu to access the mini map. Now, since you guys have all those tips that I've just told you guys, I might as well just show you what I use for my hardcore classes. You got all the perks set, um, dead silence, fast hands, you know, whatever you want to use lethal, whatever you want to use tactical, do that. But here is what I use on my gun. You guys asked for this, so here it is. The only submachine gun I would use and switch off and on to Actually, I, I'll use two, but mostly it's the Razorback. Sometimes I'll use the CUDA, but for a uh, hardcore, the Razorback is really good. Um, I will use the Quick Draw. Quick Draw is on every single gun, not taking that off. That's a staple. Quick Draw on the gun. 
um, rapid fire. Now you guys need to try rapid fire on the Razorback. It makes the gun a whole different gun. Now it kind of fixes the, if you're having issues with hit markers on the Razorback, you need to put rapid fire. It will definitely fix that, that problem for you guys. And I will use fast mags. Now a lot of you guys may want to use extended mags, but fast mags, after using extended mags and advanced warfare for like the entire cycle, the entire year, and having fast mags and Black Ops 3, I can tell you uh, fast mags is definitely more superior to extended mags. So this is my Razorback class setup. Now for the assault rifles, the only assault rifle I will use is the M8. Nothing else. Everything else is trash. Um, Reflex or ELO, obviously. Um, I use the ELO. Some of you might, might like the Reflex. I use the ELO, so definitely an optic on there. Quick draw, obviously. Now, uh, not fast max. Uh, rapid fire. <laughs> like I said again, this makes the gun ten times better with rapid fire. Try it out if you haven't tried it. And stock. I need stock on all my assault rifles. That's it. I do use three attachments um, on every gun. The M8, op obviously, with the optic. But the Razorback has three attachments, so all guns I use are three attachments. Um, now, some of you guys asked what my sensitivity is. I use 11 and 11, and that's it. And also, if you have a PlayStation, you can you can change the the uh, the button configurations. Uh, so my jump is R3. Uh, yeah, my jump is R3 pretty much. So basically, um, my X button is to uh, is to knife people. So I swap those two together, and yeah. So basically, I can shoot and jump at the same time. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys want to know how to do that, you guys probably could YouTube that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Winners will be announced in the next video. Uh, it will be a supply drop opening. I will announce the winners at the end. Thank you for watching the video. Drop a like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.